Hello from self-isolation as poor regulations. I don't know about you guys, but we've gotten a little bit bored already. It hasn't been very long. So I decided to bake because baking makes me happy. And well, my sisters and I who run a blog at stressfreemickey.com, shameless plug, we saw these cupcakes that somebody did for Dole Whip cupcakes. Now, if you've had Dole Whip at Disneyland before, you'll know it's kind of one of the most amazing things ever. And well, I love cupcakes, I love Dole Whip. What better way to get ready than to do that? So let us go and wash our hands and put on our aprons and an extra special little surprise that you will see in the next clip. Here we are in the kitchen. I have washed my hands, my hair is up, my apron's on. So yeah, as I said, uh, we found this recipe actually online, but the recipe that we found used a yellow box cakes mix. Now there's nothing wrong with using, using a cake mix. I personally prefer to make things from scratch and even during quarantine, I'm tweaking as we go here and I picked up my canned pineapple from the store and I got the big chunks because then I can use it for decoration as well. They said that crushed would work better, so what I did is I just threw it through my food processor. I mean, how easy is that? Reserve your juice, you're going to need it for the frosting later. So let's get started with this, shall we? Alright, as per usual, we're going to start with creaming our butter. One stick. I've been softening it all morning just for this because I knew I was going to be doing it. And I have my paddle attachment on my food, on my mixer. It's not a food processor, this is a mixer. Raise the bowl and we're going to get that creaming. Now that my butter has been going for a minute, I'm going to add in a cup of sugar. I'm going to reduce the speed just a little bit. It should be medium high. And I'm going to give the bowl a scrape here. Just give me a quick second. Butter and sugar mixture is creaming for four minutes. I'll just show you what I got done here. So I have already pre-mixed my one and a third cup of flour with my teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna set this aside and then I have two eggs as well as half a cup of crushed pineapple, my juice that I've reserved for later, and my star, which is always good quality Mexican vanilla, and some milk. And we will be using this in a minute. We're just having a zippity doo da day here. I wish I could have some Disney music on right now, but I know that it's mega copyrighted, so we're not going to do that. But um, you can bet that we have been listening to Disney non- Some of your favorite playlists because um, we're getting a little bit, you know, tired of ours. Share down below. Once you get to this point, it's really important that you scrape all the way down through the side. Make sure you get all of that butter from the bottom. I find in my mixer, I think I need to adjust it because it tends to leave a couple chunks and that can cause it to bake funny. Now I'm going to put my mixer on a lower speed so that I can alternate doing my dry, then my wet, then my dry, then my wet. So let us speed through that. my pineapple only until it just combines. A little bit higher and done. Don't over mix. All right, so we're gonna start on our pineapple frosting. Now, I'm curious to see how this goes because I have tried to do like a citrus with my buttercream before and it did, it did cause a little bit of separation. Uh, so we're going to see what the pineapple juice does if it causes that problem and well, you'll know when I do. So let's get the ears in there. I have started my butter and I have my three cups of sifted powdered sugar that I'm just going to very, very, very cautiously add in. 
I like a soft bowl like this because I can squish it to make sure that it will all actually drop in. I try to not make messes, but I think it's just the curse of baking. You'll always make a mess, no matter what you try. And I'm also going to do a pinch of salt. That should be good. Okay, so normally my buttercream comes with two teaspoons of vanilla, but I'm gonna just do one because I really want the pineapple to be the star here. And if this isn't enough liquid for the buttercream, I'll add it in now, but generally I like to add it closer to the end. So let's increase the speed a little bit and see how we're doing. Okay, it does look like it is a bit too dry. So I'm gonna be doing two tablespoons of pineapple juice. So I have it from the reserve for my canning. One plus to getting the big chunks of pineapple as opposed to the crush is that I actually had pineapple juice left over and it I was able to separate it for this. Otherwise, you oh no, oh yeah. So let's turn that on to high and we're gonna cream this for about four minutes until it gets nice and fluffy. So I just tried my buttercream and it's definitely not pineapple-y enough. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more pineapple juice. You can see though it's creamed up nice and pretty. Um, the recipe did say about a quarter cup, but I just didn't want it to go um, too soft. And I'm just gonna, you know, freehand pour in a little bit more. Hopefully this doesn't get too loose. We'll see. Give it a little taste here. It's almost there. A little bit more. Okay, uh, my cupcakes have cooled and I have my buttercream with my star tip. Now, if anyone here, which I'm assuming most of you watching this probably have been, to New Zealand, you'll know that the thing about a Dole Whip is it has a really signature spiral and swirl. So I'm hoping I can achieve that today. So my buttercream is definitely a little looser because I had to add so much extra pineapple juice and it kind it didn't curdle, but it's definitely not as smooth as my normal buttercream. So that's something to be aware of if you make this. Now, if you wanted this to be a bit more yellow, like the Dole Whip, you can add a little bit of red, uh, yellow food dye, not red, don't do red. Now let's top them all with just a pineapple chunk. Ooh, whoa. <gasps> Ooh, whoa. Yeah, I know that I said Dole Whip is the best snack in existence, and it really is, but like, Sometimes I just want a churro. Maybe I'll have to do churro. Let me know down below if you'd like to see me try to do churros for the first time. I, I'm not gonna lie, probably will anyways because I'm gonna do a little Disney snack hack. No, snack copycats for a little bit here because I need a little Disney in my life right now. Okay, let's just take a look at these. As you can see, the buttercream definitely has some separation, so um, I'm gonna have to tweak the buttercream a little bit. Otherwise, they look pretty good. I didn't quite get that Dole Whip swirl that I was looking for because it was so soft. So it's something that we'll have to go back to the drawing board for. Moment of truth time. I actually get to try these because they're for my family. Woohoo! They're good. Are they amazing? Yeah. What do I think they need? More pineapple? Maybe more acid? 
So thank you for making Dole Whip cupcakes with me. I will be putting the recipe down below with a couple of my addition and notes that I took from making them. Now, of course, this is me trying it out for the first time. So let me know how yours turned out in the comments and what changes you made to make it taste a little bit more like Dole Whip. And let me know also if there's any other copycat recipes you would like me to try. And please, as always, if you've made it this far, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on any of my socials at Danny Mike Cupcake. For more Disney content, you should check out my sister and I's blog at stressfreemickey.com, where we write about tips and tricks for Disneyland, whether you've been or not, or if you're doing anything different, like going with kids for the first time, I think it would really help you, as well as we do movie reviews and we do copycat recipes. This recipe will also be up on that blog, so make sure to go out there and check them out. Hey, and you know, stay positive during these really crazy times to be living in. I love you all. Mwah.